Mr. He seems to be forgetting that these rights violations happen under a Liberal government. And now, and now he pretends, he claims that he's outraged, Mr. Speaker, that he's so angry, and I'm sure his hands were just shaking in anger as he was adding more and more zeros to the check that he gave to Omar Khadr. Canadians are outraged over this. They're outraged that he completely ignored Omar Khadr's victims and their families. Yes. They're outraged that Omar Khadr got $10.5 million of yes. their money while he continues to fight veterans in court. So the previous Conservative government respected the decision by the courts, repatriated Omar Khadr. That was the only compensation that he was entitled to. Why did the Prime Minister go over and above that? The right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, previous governments violated Omar Khadr's fundamental rights. What is at issue is not uh, Omar Khadr's behaviour, it is the behaviour of Canadian governments. When the Canadian government does not defend people's rights, we all end up paying. Uh, that's the principle that is at play here, and it's one that everyone, particularly members of the Conservative Party, need to remember. You can't just stand up for rights when it's easy or popular. You have to do it when it's hard, too.